The two-factor theory states that emotions are identified by two factors, physical arousal and interpretation of that arousal. This means that when we experience physical arousal, such as pounding of the heart, we look in our environment to understand why our heart rate is speeding up in this way. And once we have identified the reason, we then decide which emotion we are actually feeling. So with this theory, if you find yourself trembling and notice that you are in a fearful situation, you will conclude that you are afraid. Let's take a look. Hey, that's a nice suit you got on there. You must be doing pretty well for yourself. Thank you. I have a highly successful career. And as for my attire, well, it is only natural that a successful man such as myself would also have an exquisite taste in fashion. You're looking sharp, I gotta admit. Still, it's unfortunate how you've scuffed up those beautiful shoes of yours. What? Really? Give me your money, punk. I'm trembling. This must mean I'm afraid because someone's pointing a gun in my face. Sounds like a reasonable assumption. The James Lang theory asserts that when something happens to us, our body has an immediate physical response and an emotion is then determined based upon evaluation of that response. This differs from the two-factor theory because it doesn't allow you to have a subjective emotion based upon you looking directly at your environment. Instead, you ignore the environment and only consider your bodily reactions. So the way this would happen is, you would first begin trembling, then decide that you are afraid because of that trembling. Let's take a look. Hey there, remember me? Vaguely familiar. I think you have some money that belongs to me. Punk! Okay, okay, no worries. I got your money. Right here. How's work? Hopefully you've gotten a raise. Cough it up. My body is shaking, so I must be afraid. The Cannon Bar theory is actually a refutation of the James Lang theory. Rather than deciding on emotion based upon solely a physical response, what actually happens according to this theory is that when we experience a given situation, it simultaneously triggers a physical response and a subjective emotion. Here, if you are in a fearful situation, you will begin trembling and think you are afraid at the same time. Let's take a look. Hey, look who it is. Whoa. No hard feelings, right? I've invested some money in you. Time to collect my dividends, punk. My body is trembling and I feel that I'm afraid simultaneously. Less monologuing, more paying me my money. <laughs> 